so Teresa, how do my personal social media profile and post affect my work in public safety? They do. Well, first of all, obviously, you don't want to be posting on the job because you're supposed to be working. So right. that's, a, that's a challenge that I see where there's such a blending of the work day and the personal day that you have some generations that don't really understand, like you don't, you don't check your Facebook at work. So that's kind of one. The second one is uh, you can really so be a socially engineered. So for example, if you tend to ask, you know, see those secret questions that are part of your user ID and password mm -hmm. and password reset, a lot of times it'll say, what's your cat's name? What's your dog's name? Or what's your pet's name? What was your high school mascot? And it'll have a lot of things and most people actually answer the truthful answer to that. Chances are that information is on your social media page. Your, the high school you went to, your high school mascot, pictures of your beautiful puppy or kitten and their names. And so all of that can be used to guess your password. So one of the things you want to be thinking about is, both in your personal life and your work life, that what you share online is not part of what you use to tell a company that it's legitimately you. So for example, when the security question asks you for your mother's maiden name, mm -hmm. this isn't the IRS or some government form, so you don't need to give them her real maiden name. True. And I think of my mom as a superhero. So I have a particular superhero and that's what I use for my mother's maiden name <laughs> if it's not an official company asking me for that. So be thinking about how to be creative and how you answer those secret questions and make sure they're not tied to anything you've posted on social media. The other thing too is, is you want to you know, you want to be proud of where you work and the work that you do and everybody here does something that's just so amazing and are true everyday heroes mm -hmm. in their communities. Uh, but you want to also be thinking about, am I sharing things that maybe hackers could use to you know, basically look for our weakest link? So for example, on the IT team side, don't talk about the latest, greatest technology you're off learning so you can support a new platform because you're basically broadcasting, here's our operating system, here's what we use, and here's how we use it for. So look for sort of those right ways to still be proud of what you do mm -hmm. while at the same time not giving away all the pieces to the puzzle. Okay, good advice, thank you.